or nope, that's not it. <laughs> Hey Kern County, it's Savannah here. I'm back this week. Megan is a little bit busy this week, so I'm filling in. Um, we just want to let you know what's going on around the county. First of all, tomorrow, the 28th, they're having the second annual Kern County Career Expo here at Rebel Bank, right behind us. Um, it's open for any students, recent grads, and parents. Um, it's an option for you to get some more knowledge and info on career options for your future. There's going to be informational sessions every 30 minutes. Um, on interview skills, social media etiquette, and a career search option. So make sure you head out, it's free, there's no registration required, and get out there. We also wanted to let you know about a couple volunteer options going on around the county this weekend. March 1st and March 2nd, Windwolves Preserve is having their volunteer day. They're looking for individuals to come out and plant some of the endangered cactus in the area. On March 1st, it'll be at 9 a.m. and March 2nd, it'll be at 10 a.m. They only require that you show up 15 minutes early just to get checked in and wear closed hose shoes and long pants to protect yourselves. For more information, you can follow their Facebook page at Windwolves Preserve and get more information. Our friends over at Edwards Air Force Base are also looking for some volunteers to head up their Star Base Edwards program. This program is to enrich the students of the area in the STEM field. So if you have a passion or you just want to help students out with science, technology, engineering, or mathematics, you can go ahead and follow their Facebook page at Edwards Air Force Base. There's a recent link there um, for an application process and all the information you need. A couple things we also wanted to let you know, if you're a Tehachapi resident or if you're in the Tehachapi area, Kern Transit just launched a park and ride service. So you can actually park your car and commute to, from Tehachapi to different areas in the county. For more information on routes and bus fares, you can visit kerntransit.org. That's what's going on around the county. We'll see you next week.